New details on a story we brought you only on five. The community now stepping in to help a cemetery which has been neglected and vandalized after two sisters discovered their father's gravesite was desecrated. But what is the city doing to help? KTLA Shelby Nelson joins us live from San Bernardino with more on the story you'll see only on five. Shelby. Hi, Sharon Micah. As you both said, this is a story that we reported on last week about that father's grave, which had been desecrated, his ashes scattered about. And there is one San Bernardino native, uh, Abel Butler, who was watching, and he saw the story and decided to do something himself about it. I'm trying to get the um, black in there so it'll pop, and then whatever I go out of the lines, I'm going to go over with this paint. Painting and perfecting, Abel Butler is carefully covering every crevice of this Pioneer Memorial Cemetery sign. And he brought friends to help. Somebody had burned down the sign here, you know, so we're just sweeping up, cleaning up, mega leveled out. You know, um, bring it back to life. It's day three for the San Bernardino native. He felt compelled to do something after having seen what happened to these two sisters. A story we brought you last week when they found their father's grave desecrated and his ashes scattered. I raced over here because I, I had family here and I had to check on them and check to make sure that my, my family wasn't, their stones weren't vandalized. With the little money Abel had, he came out to spruce up a place that so many hold dear. This represents not only San Bernardino, but it represents everyone's loved ones that are in that cemetery. But one of the bigger issues, many who come to the cemetery don't feel safe. It's surrounded by homeless encampments and illegal drug activity. A spokesperson for this city of San Bernardino says this cemetery is more than 170 years old and it also operates as a park. They say there's no endowment to help fund its maintenance or operation. Given its age, it predates many of the laws that are currently in place to protect the property. It is encumbered upon the city and the general fund to pay for the maintenance, the upkeep, the security, and all the operations of the uh, Pioneer Cemetery. City spokesperson Jeff Krause says the city will have to look at the cost. About two years ago, they did build this fence around it, which he says has helped keep it more secure. A private security guard opens and closes the gate, but that's about it. He says because of an injunction filed by the ACLU, their hands are tied on moving the surrounding homeless encampments. Unless they are physically breaking the law or operating outside of our the injunction that is against the city of uh, San Bernardino. It's very difficult for us to do anything to say you have to move. Now I asked whether that could mean maybe having a bigger police presence at the park and Jeff said that is a possibility. In the meantime for Abel, he's going to continue doing work there as long as he has help, but he's hoping that the city will maybe put some flowers around the sign or spruce it up a bit uh, for whatever they can do and uh, fund. That's the very latest from San Bernardino. I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.